So, <clears throat> good day guys. Um, today I will show you how to solve for um, the resultant and to locate its uh, location. So, our problem for today is this truss. So, we are about to um, solve its um, resultant of of these forces and locate the um, the location of the resultant so <coughs> page page 35 of um, <coughs> the book um, problem 2 for 1 problem 2 for 1 um, yeah. So the problem state that um, locate the amount and position of the resultant of the loads acting on the fink truss shown in figure P-241. So the book already gives us the answer which is two, three hundred, uh, 3,400 pounds down at 12.06 feet to the right of A. So... Here it is. So first is um, we will solve for the resultant of the forces. So we already know that the resultant is just the summation of these forces. So two hundred, three hundred, so four hundred. 300 and 200 then lastly is minus 2000 all in all <coughs> so the resultant is 3,400 and <clears throat> it is going down because obviously the process <clears throat> is um, going down then now we would like to um, sum up moment on one of these um, points here on the truss but we would like to consider if um, there are given distance from each forces to our um, moment center. So, as you can see, um, this two three hundred pounds um, doesn't don't or don't give us the the distance from its line of force to um, one of these points so we so it is um, challenging but if we um, look at this point this um, point which has 2,000 pounds um, we can so if we sum up moment here the the remaining forces would be these five forces, right? So if we sum up moment here, the 2,000 pounds, the moment of it would be, will become zero. And then the only forces is remaining are these uh, five forces. So basically, we would like to um, compute the resultant of these five forces. And obviously, the resultant of this 5 would fall here in the middle. Because as you can see, this is a, what you call it, a symmetrical. So, obviously, the resultant of this 5 would fall in the middle. 15, so 15 feet from both sides, A and B. So, R2. Remember, this is the 
original resultant. So this R2 is just the summation of these five forces to sum up moment at this point. So we would like to put point C. So basically this is just um, minus 2000. So 1400 pounds going down. This is our R2. Then now we would like to sum up moment at this point so sum up moment at C is it so we are just using this um, 1400 because um, we added the five forces so we know that the distance is 5 so 1 4 times 5 so we have 7,000 moment positive so what does um what have what does um this 7,000 feet mean so we have 7,000 feet i mean pounds feet a moment positive in this point at point c so now using the formula of moment we already solved for the moment so then we have the force this force the original resultant of the whole of the of all forces so then we can now um, solve for the distance or the location of the <coughs> the resultant the 3400 so a moment over force so 7,000 <coughs> over 3,400 equals to It's 2.059 feet So Now Remember this guys If we have a positive moment that um that means that um <clears throat> the our distance is to the left of our moment center so our moment center is at point c so here the the um location of the resultant three of this 3400 is two feet to the left because this is a positive moment to the left of point C where we sum up moment or our moment center so um, 2 maybe here this point so this is the location of our 3400 so there it is to the right of our moment center but if this moment is negative, then these two feet will be to the left of this point C, or we where we sum up moment. So our answer is resultant is equal to three thousand four hundred down down. Um, um, at 2.059 feet um, to the right right of point C so but in the book um, as we uh, here so the book says that it is um, 12.06 feet to the right of A. So as you can see, <coughs> still it would it is correct because 10 feet, then plus 2.059. So it is 12 feet to the right of A, or 2 feet to the right of point C. So <coughs> that's how you solve. Um, for this kind of 
um, problem. So, if you notice some um, mistake and error in my solution, so you, you can um, just comment down below so I can avoid making the same mistake again. So, for next, for our next tutorial, I would um, solve this problem. So, if you don't want to miss um, the tutorial, so please do subscribe and hit the bell button. Bell then all. So, you will be updated in my next tutorial. So, here, I will show you the uh, my solution. So, this is my solution. So, there. So, Thanks guys for watching and please do subscribe so you will be updated in my next tutorial. Thank you.